Are you a poultry farmer? Are you starting? Are you currently a farmer? Or you maybe you might be maybe tired of the investment and all that after quite several failed uh, missions and ambitions. Welcome to episode one of uh, the Vet on Call at Jawapa Farm, poultry farm in Kiganjo Thika. Uh, your host being uh, Vet Laban Mwangi of Lamwa Vet Care, who will take you through the, the, the efforts of a poultry farmer called uh, Jerusha to take you on all everything about poultry. Welcome. Hello. Yes. Uh, leo. about poultry. Yeah. Which which I bet should be something eh uh, itatusaidia sisi sote. Eh. Kwanza nimefurahia nimeingia nikaona kuko na posters ambazo zinasema a visitor before you, you get into the poultry farm mm. lazima tuna check on the biosecurity measures hii hapo ni vizuri sana mm. na hongera kwa hayo hiyo e, itafanya tu kuwe na na magonjwa tunazi keep off out mm. e, kwa sasa kuko na kuko na sponsors ambao wametu wametushika mkono mm. kama Chania Feeds yes. Chania Manufacturing Feeds Limited mm. ambao ni wako wako based hapa Thika na wengine kama Phytobiotics Phytobiotics is a German company mm. ambao the distributors wako hapa kwetu Thika mm. na Lamu wa Vet Care ambao ni sisi ambao ni your vets uh, you are, you are vets yes yes mm. yeah, yeah nice yeah Kwa, kwa sasa tunaweza taka kuingia kwa, kwa nyumba ya kuku mm. lakini before tuingie mm. naweza taka tu to spray mkono mm. to spray mikono ambayo kama wakulima wenye wako wanatuangalia huko kwenye terevi, kwenye social media mm. wanafaa kujua kila before uingie kwa nyumba ya kuku mm. make sure umetumbukiza miguu kwa kwa poultry coop kwa disinfectant pale magonjwa mingi tuna inakuja tunakuja nayo mm. kuku hana, hana magonjwa anatoka kutoka kwa incubator imefumigetwa it is very disinfected mm. and then anakuja anapata a very cool cool place kwa hivyo hiyo magonjwa anatoa wapi ni sisi mwenyewe tunawa, mm. tunaleta hiyo mgonjwa mm. na kwa hayo eh, ndio maana tunataka ku, ku, ku disinfect our farm vets are also eh wanaweza tunaweza kuwa ni sisi tunaleta magonjwa nimetoka kwa farm nyingine ninakuja kwako naweza kuwa ninakuletea magonjwa wewe mm. umetoka hapo nje kwa, kwa barabara kuna, before ingie kwa nyumba ya kuku mm. una make sure umefanya nini umetumbukiza na ume disinfect nguo na mwili mm. and uh, uku, usilete hao kuku magonjwa mm. disinfection uh, biosecurity we call that biosecurity it starts with having a perimeter fence in your in your in your in your compound not every tom dick and harry anafaa kukuja kwa kuona kuku zako mm. unaanzia hapo you come eh, kuna disinfectant you must eh, pro, have protective gears na na disinfection at its best usiwe na umbo ambao wanazunguka wanazunguka huko anakuja ana, ana akiingia kwa kwa, kwa kwa nyumba ama kwa the compound ya kuku eh, kuzuia kuzuia magonjwa isikuje na kwa hayo you should be very disinfected have have as cool a place in the co- compound ku cool as possible yes ni mm-hmm. sasa tunapoingia hapa 
Before we in here, we to make sure the goods are because it's protected. We see the baby, we see the baby.
that is very commendable mm. eh, your bruda iko iko mzuri sana mm. lakini pengine tunaweza uh, tunaweza kwa wakulima kwa wakulima ambao wako, wako online eh, i kuku, i, 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 this is a bruda this is how a bruda should be a bruda is a temporal mother kukona it should have the wood shavings wood shavings in easy ambazo ni mzuri sana kwa wakati wa jo, kwa comfort ndio maana ndio maana tuna inaeko iko eh, the wood shavings comfort ni mzuri alafu naona uh, madam jerusha hapa ametengeneza a very comfortable brooder anatumia the gas burner anatumia gas burner as a source of heat which is also very commendable gas burners zina ni i, i, they are economical to ama ukilinganisha na na mbeleni ukilisha ukilisha kuku na sasa kitambo hii it's a new project ya ya gas na kitambo tuko natumia makani gani mzuri kwa in terms of in terms of uh, costing na na hi okay the advantage of of this of uh, whatever you've been using kwa hivyo umekubaliana ukisema hauna you have zero influence of uh, of maka uh-huh. hauna 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 influence yote kukirisha on quality of maka hmm. kuna yenye unanunua maka iko na iko na moshi mingi kuna nyingine ina, inaisha haraka uh-huh. kwa hivyo inakuwa expensive kulisha ni expensive na inachosha kwa hivyo gas kwa sababu kuna banners zilikuwa zimekuwa introduce 
in Kama last year, uh, to, to 2019. Mm. They are up at the called Missionaire, that year, the, 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 the year 20, 2018. Yes. Sasa, since then, mimi nimekua nimeraizishua kazi, na ninasikia kulisha kuku si kazi kubwa, na si kazi gumu. Ah, nimeshukuru kusikia hiyo. Mkulima uko kwenye, kwenye internet pale, kwenye hote unatuonea, unakue kisumu, Turukana, Mombasa, Eh, ma, 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 Madame Jerusha ametueleza kulisha kuku ni kwa ukitumia the gas burner is more pocket friendly is more pocket friendly in terms of you have you have quality over the gas unaweza unaweza regulate unaweza kuwa na kibiliti pengine tunatuonyesha venye haya sasa kwa sasa eh, madam uh, what we have eh, in this brooder we have the uh, still a form of biosecurity it's it's perimetered and then eh, before we ingia uko na maji hapo nyuma unatumbukiza una miguko uki before ingia kwa nyumba also umesikia madam jerusha akituambia ana vaccinate vaccination is also a form of biosecurity biosecurity is ve is a very wide scope na na kwa Hiyo ameweza kukulisha vifaranga zake bila shida mm. na anaweza kufika kwa market vizuri mm. na haraka na very with, the, with very healthy chicks mm. yes ambayo hiyo ni mzuri sana hiyo ni mzuri sana mm. That, that's, that's very nice eh, our, our viewers from from uh, online uh, you can see a very a very well placed uh, a very well placed uh, uh, bruda Kwa ukuku akikula hapa anakunywa maji hapa. Huyu akikula hapa akikunywa hapa anakula. Anakunywa anakula. That's called call it placement. Ukuku hakuli hapa anaenda kutafuta maji huko. Hiyo energy yenye anapoteza kwenda kutafuta maji huko, that's hiyo inahitajika for growth, for production. Production at chick stage you 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 you, you get it by growth. Kuku akiwa aki, 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 akifikia ni kwa kutaga mayai, that's production. Kwa, kwa chick stage, production is on growth. Anakula hapa, anakunywa maji. Anakula, anakunywa. Haendi kutafuta, haendi kupoteza that energy akienda kutafuta, kutafuta, kutafuta maji. Ama akienda kutafuta chakula. That's, that's, that's very commendable. That's very commendable. Yes. <laughs> Eh, hao viparanga wako wamenifurahisha sana na naonekana wanakuwa kwa kwa rate nzuri sana. Una ume, ume, umeweza kupima weight? Nilipima every time nimeleta mm. kuku. Eh. Yeah. Lazima nipima weight. Eh. Uh -huh. Habayo inakuwa about 6 to 40. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday nilipima uh -huh. nikapata 38. 38. 6. Uh, 39, they are ready to that weight. Kwa hivyo, on average, around 39. Around 39. 39 is a commendable yeah. weight. Mm -hmm. Kifaranga, anafa, aki, aki anguliwa, akiwa hana enough weight, kukona itakuwa na, na utahitaji kutumia some, some, uh, some more words which, which, which will deepen, which will get deep into your pockets. Mm -hmm. Kifaranga, anafa kukua around 40 grams on day one. Akifika kwa kwa soko. Lakini Madam Jerusha alitwambia amepata wake wakiwa 39 on average. For which that is very commendable. Inaonekana your source of chicks wana wana the source of chicks ni mzuri sana. Yes. Yeah, hii ni mzuri. Na maji una unaosha una, unabadilisha una kila siku inaonekana. Eh, hey, inabadilisha kila siku. Uh -huh. Na osha viobo na na osha na osha viobo. Atu, wakati unatumia maji kuna vitamins mm -hmm. kuna, 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 kuna vitu ujishikia kwa abazo, abazo ni very straight Inaitua biofilm Biofilm yes. Hizo zina ujishikia kwa, 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 kwa mkebe yes. Ama hizi drinkers Zinaweza asababisha tena mashida ya kuku ya, 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 ya. ah. Itesenza zinaweza aleta shuka So every day ni azima ni yosha na ni disinfect Kwa sababu yeah. ukifukosa kufanya hivyo Naweza kamua na hizo majamzi bado ziacho. So, yeah. I've been washing na rinse and I'm using for my Ah, hiyo ni hiyo ni hongera sana. Hongera hongera. Eh, hiyo 
kwa kwa vile venye umesema mtanga, mtazamaji kuko na hii inaitwa biofilm biofilm ni kwa pipe kwa pipe ama drinker ama mtungi ya nyumbani kuna kitu iko very mucoid iko mucoid hapo ndani kwa kwa ina, ina, sana sana kwa, kwa walls za pipe za drinkers and all that eh? so eh, here it harbors it starts to harbor bacteria it harbors bacteria such as uh, E. coli, salmonella. So, ndiyo mana una, you are recommended to wash, to clean your, your, to clean your, your utensils, your poultry equipment with a disinfectant to, to keep off that bacteria from getting to your cuckoos. Ndiyo ita build up na ita tengeneza ugonjwa. Na hiyo ugonjwa utaanza kukimbia kwa, kwa sisi wa daktari tunakutibia <laughs> na na hapo utaanza kwenda kwa hasara. Yes. Okay. Eh, eh ko um, tanga, um, tazamaji, eh, kuko na uh, our sponsor eh, Chania Feeds ambaye sasa ni he'll take over from here atueleze about his uh, the company's feeds. Yes. Uh, karibu sana. Thank you so much. Uh, Shania Feeds Manufacturing Limited, you are partner for high yields. We have been in operation for the last 33 years and we started off as farmers because of a lack of quality feeds. We were pushed into manufacturing for the search of uh, quality feeds and that's why we ventured into manufacturing of poultry feeds and we have a range of poultry feeds and livestock feeds and we are ready to partner with you. What we, we also have farms that have over 200,000 laying birds, and the same feed we offer to our birds in the farms are the same feeds we are ready to offer you as a farmer when, when you partner with us. So we are welcoming you so much to partner with us, and we'll make sure that your farm progresses and you will be happy because of the yields you'll be getting. At Shania Feeds, we are not totally localized around Central Kenya and Vika. We are all over Kenya, and uh, as the prog program progresses, we will give you the contacts and the way you can reach us, and we are ready to reach you wherever you are. So if you have a farm, you are, um, um, you are starting, and you don't know where to start, or you are not even sure of what you are doing, please try us. As farm support team at from Shania Feeds, we are ready to go with you hard in hard, in hard and your livestock will never be the same again. So thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, 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 our, our, our farmer, Madame Jerusha, is a multi, is a, uh, does a multi flocks, uh, like multi uh, breeds. We have the Kinyeji, and on this other coup, we have a uh, Broilers. For this part, these broilers are 35 days. 35 days. Right? They are at five days and doing a two point two point two two point two in 35 days. That's 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 awesome. That's awesome. Kwa 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 here na two at two at two days. Na apa tunajua tutapata kuku. Eh, apa kuna kuku? Ona onekano wakio very healthy. Yeah, this commendable. Naona your placement iko mzuri. Kuku anakula anakunywa maji, anakula hapa, anakunywa hapa. Anakunywa maji, anakula. That is also very commendable. Alafu inaonekana mpaka huko it's it's very hakuna unyevu. 
this is also this is also right. Kwa hii kumaliza unyevu there's something we call raking. Raking is a uh, you uh, uta kuna chimbua na na rake. The rake ile ya kuokota karatasi ama majani kwa jikoni uh, not chini ya miti. <laughs> ile unaokota majani unavuta to to make the place very friendly for the birds. Mm. Unaona kuku ame they are quite healthy. Hauski wa kingorota. It is very warm. Uh, it, it's very comfortable. Hakuna kwa hii maji. Hakuna unyevu. Hakuna unyevu. Kwa hivyo hiyo ana, anapunguza cases za ugonjwa kama coccidiosis. Mtazamaji kuna there is there is a disease uh, called coccidiosis. I bet quite a number of us have heard about the disease. The disease is in the it's a, it's a protozoan disease. The protozoa or maybe the parasite ako kwa environment ya kuku. Anapenda kukaa mahali pako na utunyevu, mahali pako na eh wana penye maji na mwagika kwa sana. That's 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 a harboring ground of uh, the protozoa the protozoa coccidia. Huu mm-hmm. kuku akikula, kuku tunasema uishi chooni. Penye anakula ndipo analala ndipo anafanya kila kitu. So with that and anakuja anadona the root of entry ya coccidia ni through the mouth the, it's an oral root amekula inaenda kwa intestine inaanza kutafuna the walls of the intestine na ndio hiyo ina, inaanza kuchanganyika kwa cho unaanza kuona koko cho kianza kwenda cho cho yellowish it goes on uh, because the, the the protozoa is still there and inakula the walls of the intestine and atafuna the walls inaenda kwenda cho ya brown inaenda bloody and then from there is that death and how do you tackle that kuko na dawa in the market mingi sana ambazo kama sangrovit sangrovit eh, eh, is a phytobiotic eh? the mode of action it creates an environment kwa 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 GIT the digestive tract favoring mass production of those villi and the microvilli mtazamaji kwa villi ziko kwa mwili yako mwili ya ngombe mwili ya kuku mwili ya umbo all animals in the kingdom animalia wako na hiyo wako na hiyo villi sasa na hiyo kazi ya villi ni inasaidia in absorption kwa hivyo huku kwa kikula the pellets we call these pellets eh we call them pellets akikula the pellets inaenda kwa mwili inapatana na the villi that were created by sangrovit and then a lot of it is harvested kuku wako ana gain weight production inaongezeka alafu kwa kitu kingine ita the tumesema huyo ugonjwa ina 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 it chews up eh? it erodes the walls of the intestine sasa sangrovit ina coat it coats that wall na inapunguza hii diarrhea mm. na hapa ni kuongea ukweli hapa umefanya kazi nzuri sana sioni diarrhea hapa ndani na i can see a very healthy flock mm. a very healthy flock we have yes na wakana hata maji una, unaeka maji safi it's very clean water mm. which is also very commendable hapo ni hongera sana kwa nini maji maji is, is, a, is a necessity water is life clean water eh wewe mtazamaji kwa ukiwa ukiwa maybe kwa kwa you when you purchase water from the premium water eh, i don't want to mention the companies there is that water the bottled water kuna ile urge ya kukunywa maji juu ni safi lakini kuko na ile maji ya kisima ambayo it's a bit salty or something hautaweza kugulf kugulf as much as yenye unakunywa iko na the premium water. Saa kwa nini tupatie kuku wetu kuku uh, uh, tupatie kuku wetu maji chafu? Ni hatia sana. Ni hatia sana tukipatia kuku wetu maji chafu na we, uh, uh, as we expect production. No, that's not the case. Kuku akunywe na maji maji safi and be changing it as as regular as possible. 
asia ti maji ina, inakaa usiku and then the following day una, una, unaweka maji tena hapana pengine dawa kama sangrovit dawa kama sangrovit unaweka kijiko moja ya sukari which is 5 grams in 100 liters we can see madam jerusha has a, a reserve has a reserve how many liters is this yeah 420 liters sorry 420 liters unaweka ngaa dawa kiasi gani ya sangro unaweka the nice 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 which 40 spoons is equals to is 20 grams 20 grams uniform hapa kuna watu tunawaita cult the cult cuckoos wako pale ile ndio six bed it's the still the isolation ward ukiangalia the, the ratio of the ratio of uh, the, the 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 isolated ones in relation to the health cuckoos that 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 commendable yes Ningependa eh, kuwa kukaribisha awa awa Chania Feeds eh, technical team. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, as we said Chania Feeds manufacturers we manufacture quite a range of livestock feeds, the dairy feeds, the pig feeds, but kwa sababu leo tuko kwa shaba ya Jerusha tutaongea sana kuhusu chakula ya kuku na i want to say tuko na orange ya chakula ya kuku kuanzia kuku wa kutaga chickmash growers and layers na hiyo layers yetu ina support up to 95% lay na kuku inafika kutaga at 4 months but today kwa sababu Jerusha amefanya kazi mzuri kwa broiler tuko na broiler parrots na tuko na broiler cramps Uh, katika hii region ya Central we are the only people with the uh, starter cram the crambola and the pereta. Na starter cramps yetu inafanya kuku apate nguvu na aweze kuweka nyama vizuri. Na ndio tukipatia pellets katika siku ya 30 na 32 na na tatu, you can harvest 1.6 live weight dead weight bila bila shaka. Kwa hivyo tuko hapa ku support huyu mkulima wetu na kushirikiana na wale wengine wote kwa sababu tumeweza kufikisha hawa kuku hapa na tunajua vizuri hata wewe mtazamaji na wewe mkulima uko hapo maybe umesubuka sana na ile chakula utapata ndio uweze kupigana na hii soko vizuri karibu shania our parents are cost effective na pia crumbs yetu utaipata kwa bei mzuri tuko hapa kusupport huyu mkulima na ndipo tunafanya kwa wakulima wale wengine wote kwa hivyo tunasema asanti sana na tutaendelea zaidi thank you so much eh bwana jerusha pole pole <laughs> madam jerusha yes yeah, this this commendable work oh ni inaonekana with with the if i if I'd give a, a percentage we are at uh, over 80% over well, call it 90% uniformity mm-hmm. our kuku are very uniform mm-hmm. i can see that eh what 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 tends to give to give uniformity and all that it is one thing we call the intestinal integrity intestinal integrity is how this uh, the intestine okay Uh, our, our 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 person on the other end the viewer there is this thing we call the cow this is an animal a cow is an animal eh uh, kuna kitu tunaita cow ngombe ngombe what ukienda kununua ngombe unaangalia nini one it is the udder the udder determines the 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 uh, has a, a lot of factors to the cow what the 
what the udder is to a cow is what the intestine is to is to a chicken what the chicken what the chicken's intestine is is what the cow's udder is so for the for you for you, when you go to purchase a cow you'll need to have a, there's a way you'll check on the on the integrity on the, on the shape of no the formation the formation of the udder yeah ama ni mrefu sana ikiwa ni mrefu sana ile unaangalia isipate isikuwa ina inakuwa predisposed to diseases kama coccidiosis are not coccidiosis mastitis 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 lakini kwa kuku the uh, the intestine should be very royal should you should have it very religious inaonekana kwa hii kuku yako umeweza ku attain that where you have been able to manage uh, the, the intestinal integrity and how will i mark by that naangalia uniformity ya kuku the what we have on ready and what we have for the for the isolation ward isolation ward which is that that something you've done you've done right eh hapo ni kongera sasa kwa kuku kuku akikula chakula basically like us human when we eat what aim do we what aim do we what's the purpose of uh, of the feed one production unaweza kukua kwa hivyo kuku anakuwa kuku anakuwa haraka because of the hot because of the purpose of the of the feed one is production unapea kuku yako chakula quality feeds very quality very clean feeders to attain production another case ni maintenance when one feather ikitoka hivyo for it to grow that maintenance na ina hiyo maintenance inaletwa na chakula another case is reproduction kama ni kuku wa mayai ama kuku yenye tuko nao wa kienyeji in, kienyeji improved eh? by the time tutakuwa tukifanya watakuwa wakit, wakitaga that will be that will be the production the production na uh, that that's so that's so nice so what uh, ma, madam jerusha does eh? she supports the intestinal integrity by the phytobiotics by the by the phytobiotics uh, products sangrov like sangrov ws mm. ambayo sasa ndio inafanya nini inatengeneza the anaweza huku kwa kikula chakula a lot of it is absorbed na anafanya nini Ana, anaweza ku, ku, kushiba haraka na kutengeneza chakula mm. ona Eh, our viewer from ground, uh, from the other end eh huku kwa kona chakula hawajamalize chakula lakini wameshiba can you see uh, you, the number on every drinker or maybe on every feeder you'll just notice one two ambao wanakula the others wame, wameshiba wamejitandaza to take rest and for assimilation of the whatever they've already eaten mm. ndio inaweza ku, uh, anaweza ku grow vizuri anaweza ku grow bila shida yoyote mm. uh, wengine wanaenda huko wanaenda kujitangaza yeye mwenyewe very, very nice very nice intestinal integrity is a, is a, is a plus so uh, on uh, farmers Uh, make sure you 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 achieve the intestinal integrity by having quality feeds uh, quality water clean very clean water because uh, when you have a, a dirty water or maybe infected water with bacteria and all that it will affect the intestinal integrity kuku wako ataanza kuhara anaendesha Chaku, anaendesha ile chakula yenye amekula anaendesha so ina, inafanya intest, uh, asishibe vizuri Cha, ile nutrients ile choi kienda hivyo ikiwa loose a lot of nutrients have been lost eh, so naona sasa kama kuku mwenyewe hii this choi iko 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 mzuri eh, akuna uh, sijaweza kuona any form of diarrhea This, this, this is quite commendable. Kwa hivyo mkulima wa, wa uh, people from Dika karibu mnunue kuku kwa Madam Jerusha at Jawapa farm. These cuckoos are off antibiotics. 
which uh, which which uh, ameweza ku maintain by having a, a, a flock ambayo haina nini haina magonjwa uh, this flock is 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 uh, has no okay being the vet of the farm i've not prescribed even a single antibiotic to these birds so don't uh, don't hesitate give her a call visit her farm like in before in here najua atakuzia kwa gate house ama utakubali wakuja kwa farm mtampea dawa eh atikisha miguu ni mkaribisha ajionee kwa bali nimshikia kuku ni mzuri eh ushike kuku usikubali waingie hapo wataleta magonjwa eh hiyo hivyo ndivyo inafaa yes Eh uh, okay in case eh mnaweza taka kutembea kununua kuku atawasaidia na namba yake atawaambia eh uh, pengine eh uh, eh uh, tusaidia na namba 07 niko na namba inaitwa 0726 5 4 6 7 na kunikosa na hiyo na ingine ya yeta ambayo ni 0736 uh, 499368 0736 499368 hizo ndio namba unaweza nipata nazo kitaka kwa kufunzwa kwa kuelezewa kwa usaidizi wa wote kwa ununuzi kwa kupangwa vile utaweza utaweza kuulisha chakula gani utaweza kulisha nazo niuliza na nitakudirect na utafurahia okay. e, wakulima e, hiyo ni hiyo ni vizuri sana tuweze kupromote huu mkulima unaona hizi kuku ni very healthy very healthy wamekula wameshiba wanajitandaza Uh, I have built grow Kenya built Kenya. Our president is excellent. Grow Kenya, built Kenya. Kushike huu mkulima aweze ku grow from as a fact she started with 100. Ndio hivyo. Where is back? He has back. 202 lianza. And right now she has 1500 after a few after ameshikana na lamu wa vet care. Eh uh, tunaweza kushika mkulima mkono which is the older okay we, we started with the kienyeji improved which are uh, de, two days old tukakwenda kwa broilers and then tunaenda kwa another older bird when you visit when you have several flocks you start with the youngest as you go to the oldest flock not the other way around not the other way around you start with the older utatoa magonjwa huko ukiletea hao wengine because wale wakubwa they tend to be carriers of disease wamekaa into the environment for quite some time so you start with the youngest go to the second as we go to the oldest now we'll need to visit the other flock uh, in the next in the next coup haya 
Tunaweza My name is Robert Mora, Wanjiro from Change Feeds. I do sales and farmer support. So in farmer support we have a different variety. Pambapo tunaanzia na technical team. Kwa hiyo technical team inashughulikia chakula, the way it's process to achieve quality, lazima chakula ihanduliwe with care. So we start from sourcing the right raw materials so that we ensure you get the right quality. Apart from that we have it cascaded all down when you unapata the, the processing you have the clumber and all that then we have now the farmer part the, the way we want to go to at times when the farmer need our support we are there to answer them maybe when you say hey doctor how can we do this how can we do this to kuku but how can we do one to one two so we are there to help them to know funza we don't just sell feeds we also do farmer support nikuwafunza how to do it umeona jerusha inada nini amewalisha vizuri also hawa unaona wako sawa it's a way of maintaining the farmer si kuuzia tu chakula but can, when they have questions what do you offer huh? that's what we offer next the customer care services that come alongside with the feeds we have the quality feeds we have all the process handled most of the time farmers blame the feeds but instead of blaming the feeds we are there to train them because we do training we do seminars and all sorts of education to the farmer through all means possible ile nje ambayo inaweza wafikia kwa uraisi we are there for them just give us a call tutakuja mpaka penye huko we will train you we will educate you and we will have a service that you never regret thank you Improved. About the Kenyaji improved, eh? Kenyaji improved eh, is the is a is a has several advantages, or maybe it's improved. It has several advantages in relation to the Kenyaji. The Kenyaji improved tends to have to gain mass faster. Weight gain is a, a little faster. Eh, more more egg production. Uh, okay. Uh, it's what we had of the kienyeji we used to have uh, 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 this you had you had to wait for nine months ten months for you to source your first egg and like what we have the improved version of kienyeji the improved version of kienyeji more so the kuroira which we have at the farm uh, you you tend to have to wait for four and to four four point five months for you to get an egg which is a uh, which is a uh, which is uh, the right the right uh, the right way into business you can have it's it's a dual purpose bud it's a dual purpose bud where you, you you'll get source eggs and meat uh, has several advantages that you also do litter it's a uh, fast maturity uh, of diseases is, uh, is a little is a little fast yes uh, Let's visit uh, the the Kienyeji improved verse. Ah, this is nice. This is nice. How old are we? Four weeks. Four weeks. Four weeks. Four weeks. That's one month. I, I like. I like the uniformity. The uniformity is uh, is right. Uh, these these are healthy birds. Uh, if I were to rate it uh, with the kienyeji, either kienyeji or kitambo, either you know, somewhere around two months or maybe three months. 
kwa tukiangalia na ule wa kienyeji but with the fact that this is an improved version you tend to have the uniformity is there anaweza kukua haraka you'll notice for the kienyeji improved there are still the cocks and the and the mirrors the mirrors with uh, the hands <laughs> the hands and the cocks the jogos and the and the hands right hiyo ni mzuri sana huku huku atakupatia mayai da it will give you 280 eggs per year which is in relation to the kienyeji which will give you like 50 eggs in a year you will tend to be in more in business when you go the kuroira way which uh, madam jerusha is uh, is rearing for us this this is commendable naona your presentation still drinker fida drinker fida huku huku anakunywa baji hapa na kula hapo anakunywa na kula hii ni ni mzuri hata hawa naona unapatia un, you, when you come you use the brooder gas brooder gas brooder which is uh, which is very very nice and economical yes hapo ungetueleza aje unawauza hawa kuku ama This is what? Yeah. And so uh, no so kuna wao wamekuwa wamekichukua wakichukua like yesterday na four weeks at 300 so the the remainder it's just green paper sheets and all that kind of thing so so far so good hii huwa wa hypothesis uzuri wa kroila uzuri wa hii ukulima wa wa kenyeji huwa hypothesis Eh, pesa wakati anaendelea kwa masiki kama Brenders. Brenders akijika kama wakati huko na fraud, most of the farmers cry. Kwa sababu inaanza kukula mfuko. Kwa sababu za haibai mpandi. Kwa sababu uko na inchi ambayo sijaelewa, lakini kwa kwa kwa, kwa, kwa kuangalia wakulima tumekuwa na hasu sana. Kwa hivyo kwa hii kienyeji root. Eh, every week kijiongeza inaongeza pesa. Every kuongeza siku inaongeza pesa. So I have been uh, been I have been selling at 200 for two weeks. I have been selling at 300 for three weeks. I have been selling at uh, one month for three hard sheets. Kwa hivyo kuwa hypothesis and I'm um, up to the time is Aisha. Hata zikuwa zitatagia hapa bado itakuwa na bei yake. So far sijaona wewe baya wa hizi kuku. Ndio maana ndizi introduce na nikasema ya kwamba zitaenda maana pamoja kenyeji na brenda pamoja ni kwa sababu ukifinya saidi ile saidi hii na jambo la jambo sana hiyo ninafurahia hii ukulima na mimi ni mkulima damu niko na ukulima unachanganyika na damu ah hiyo ni mzuri sana madam jerusha anatueleza kwa waje wako farm poultry farming is addictive poultry farming is addictive it is addictive anatoka kwa kwa broilers na kona kienyeji na hapo kwenye tunasema anafanya value addition wewe mkulima uko you are an aspire kwamba you don't want to venture into broilers into the kienyeji na hutaki kukulisha wale vifaranga as early as day one from the company unaweza eh, call jerusha's number and then uh, you'll get chicks as early as from one week right anafanya value addition ana ana ana, ana source and outsource wewe unachukua hata ukitaka vifaranga tano, kumi, mia moja, ngiri moja, ana anakufanyia nini ngiri moja ni 1000 anaweza anakuwa outsourcea vifaranga from uh, as early as as one week ana ana unafanyia nini unazi unazi brood unaziondoa kwa shida anakupatia anakupatia vifaranga very healthy eh wako this this is quite a healthy flock as early as day as one week and and utapata kwa bei yako na bei mzuri lakini na hope unaangalia wakulima wale 
wana wakuku kidogo wa, wenye wanataka kufanya for domestic eh, use anaweza ku, kuchukua kuku moja anafanya value addition unaweza kuongezea kuku wako na this kuku hata hapa naona the ha, sioni the area this kuku is uh, has clean water the feed is clean clean feeders clean drinkers which is which is quite commendable hii kuku hii gonjen hii kuku anakuonyesha hana magonjwa the intestinal integrity yenye tuliongelea iko mzuri very healthy anakuwa mkubwa cho, cho yake i can see there is no diarrhea which is hongera sana the hongera sana hongera sana eh yeah. kwa hivyo kuku ukinunua uh, uta make sure an, uh, uh, you are guaranteed of uh, a healthy flock as early as day one from sourcing here eh yeah. karibu jawapa farm as you purchase your next flock ama namna gani karibu karibu Uh, our dear farmers uh, our, our, your viewers our viewers uh, at Jawapa farm we have our our sponsors as of today of the vet on call episode one at Jawapa farm uh, the farm is in Kiganjo Dika I had shared that on day on the first first uh, minutes of the show which uh, has hosted us to give to air our to air about the show to the farmers online to our online farmers either you are a farmer stressed an upcoming farmer aspirant you have our back on that yes we can uh, we can have our sponsors on my right bwana isaia mwangi Uh, who is uh, our, our, uh, our farmers uh, our farmer support and uh, on my left is bwana robert mora our uh, still a farmer support of the chania feeds yes ama namna gani asante yes eh uh, maybe i would ask uh, bwana robert what kind of feeds do you have at at chania feeds limited at chania feeds we cater for all the farmers eh? kuanzia wakulima wa kuku wakulima wa ngombe wakulima wa nguruwe when you come to wakulima wa kuku they are been expounded kuna the layer part kuna the broiler and the kienyeji so we have covered all the areas we have the chick the growers the layers 
na tuko na the broiler part ambapo tuko na the crumbs ambazo the sample of them tuko na mash broiler finisher mash tuko na pellet so all the area is covered when you come to kienyeji we have the kienyeji when you go to the animals ah wengine akina ngombe the cow we have our dairy meal the high yield and the standard and ngombe akipewa mbegu si tuko na ngombe wa kesho so we have the calf in the pellet for them as well so when you come to ngurue we have the sow and winner and we also have the finisher yeah Oh nice that's 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 uh, seems to be some good package you have there. Yeah. Eh bona Isaya. Yeah. Eh can you share a little a brief history about the company where are you based? Yeah, Chania Fix Manufacturer Limited. We are based at Vika just opposite Kenya Vehicle Manufacturers if everybody knows where the Volkswagen are being assembled in our days. And uh, we started off not as a company but as a farmer because even today we have our own farms we are doing more than 200,000 laying birds and this is what drove the, the owners to manufacturing because there was no quality meat then so we started off in 1994 we have been in business since and uh, all that time we have seen so many who thought to, that they are trying farming we have supported so many farmers and today they are very happy you go to the shelves of the supermarket you find our eggs there our milk there so it's a company we are very happy for the for what we have done to our farmers and the economy of our beloved country can uh, that's 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 right yeah. Yeah. Uh, where can we, maybe you can uh, say, give us uh, on how we would uh, source your products where where is the best place to source your products and how to notice genuine chania feeds uh, products Feeds that is. Uh, as the program is running, I believe the viewers are getting the our contacts. Uh, and those who are very far, who cannot come to our factory at Vika, they can make a call, place an order, and we can deliver wherever, even in the, wherever in East Africa. We have the capacity. We we are able to deliver. And also in all the animal feeds outlets in your area, wherever you are, all the stock animal feed stockists, the stock shania and we, you can get it there mm, that, that's nice that's nice uh, maybe bona robert would what's uh, what advice would you give to uh, an upcoming farmer on in relation to feed quality on feed choice what i can tell the farmer is to be keen on what company and what feeds the best choice is us because our slogan is your partner for high quality yields. How can you get high quality yields is by partnering with us. We have the quality that I have shown you. We have all the machinery, all the art, and from the sourcing all the way to the processing, it's under microscope because the technicians are professionals. So our feeds are high quality because we don't just say it's high quality. Why do we say it's high quality? My partner has said we have farms. We make feeds, they are being passed by the government, then we do trials with our animals. We have seen the results. So that's why we are telling them partner with us, they will get the good quality because we have already seen it. We are giving you a percentage and assurance that you have already seen it with our animals in the farm because you have done the test feeds with them we are assured of what we are giving you want them to enjoy the good fruits we are enjoying yeah that's nice our viewer our viewer uh, aflatoxin mycotoxin toxins toxin is quite a broad uh, a broad a broad subject and uh Buona robert has assured us they have quality feeds they tend to have them with the with the veterinary with the Kenya labs Kenyan labs to check on quality and all that right yeah that's right yes uh it does we talk of mycotoxin and uh, aflatoxin it has been uh, of economic importance in the Kenyan market because we are losing a lot of uh, revenue because of uh, aflatoxin 
And what we do as a company, uh, Bonalamo, yes. what we do as a company, we use the, the best uh, toxin binders. We also subject our feeds to the state-of-the-art laboratories, and the one of them being the CAPS, the Kenya the, the Quality Analysis at CAPS, and also other private companies that do the, the lab testing. So we will never receive raw materials or even release a finished product before we are ascertained that it has no bad effect to the farmers. So we are very much concerned on that. And I can also reiterate that we are the best when it comes to observing the quality of feeds we are giving to our animals out there. Because whatever we get out of that factory gate, it will go to our farms first before it reaches to my fewer. So I'm very much concerned with that. I've seen uh, from your company, from the formula of your, of your, of your feeds, you have Sangromix Active D. Yes. Maybe you can share some brief history to the farmer, to our viewer, about Sangromix Active D and its performance to uh, Jerusha's farm and your other farms at, uh, at, at the farm. Yeah, my first experience with the Sang Sangromix D, it's early last year uh, at a farm elsewhere, but later on we incorporated it in our feeds. And our broiler feeds are doing very, our broiler birds are doing very well. They are, we don't we no longer have the skeletal problems. We don't have the feathering problems because actually it has come in hard to put in the much required vitamins and minerals that our animal require for the for their growth. So Sagromix D is one of the best products that has come to the market nowadays, and uh, we are happy for the Sagro Feed Company for introducing that event to, our, to us as feed manufacturer. Uh, Sangro Mix Active D, our dear, form, our dear viewer, is uh, just as uh, how my able friend uh, Buana Isaiah has told us, Sangro Mix is, tends to give these birds skeletal, skeletal uh, uh, performance, giving calcium and phosphorus an ample time and an ample growth, an ample ground for absorption and assimilation. Uh, sir, yeah. how do you deliver your feeds? Would you deli do you deliver to companies or you take it to the ground level? Upanda wa kusafirisha, na kuanga very keen. Yes. Na make sure at the time our farmers requested the feed, in Africa on time. Kwa hivyo kwa kusafi kwa transport tuko sawa. Magari tuko na mingi. Kama ni customer mkubwa tuko na magari kubwa. Kama kuna customer mdogo vile vile atakuwa ameshukurikiwa mahali pale. Ah, nashukuru ah. sana, mm. nashukuru sana. Mm. Umesema ku, uh, you don't degrade yeah. farmers. Yeah. Akuwe na kuku 50 Hakuwe na kuku mia moja, hakuwe na kuku hata milioni moja mtampelekea. Tutampelekea chakula. Ya, yeah, hiyo ni mzuri sana. We have all the resources, Tuta, tutamfikia paka mahali yako. Hata kama ni upadegani wa Kenya, yeah. tutaweza fika. Ha, ah, hiyo ni mzuri sana. Mm. Eh, hiyo ni mzuri sana, hiyo ni mzuri sana. Yes. yes. Eh, our dear farmers, eh, uh, we'd like uh, you source your feeds from Chania Feeds, our supporters and our, uh, our sponsors for the today's episode one vet on call you are, maybe they'll share you the numbers and their contacts where you'll be able to source them to source the feeds from. yeah uh, before we give the numbers I would like to thank the viewer and the farmer and remind them that Chania Feeds Manufacturer is your partner for high yields. And uh, you will not, never be disappointed. We are ready to work with you. So welcome aboard and we love you. As my, uh, my colleague, Mr. Peter Mwangi, shares our contacts. Our, co our contact number is 0741-2242-2242. Irudia tena, 
0541-968-995. Thank you. Ah, nice. Uh, our dear farmer, let's hear the from a uh, farmer's uh, end on the on her take on chania feeds. Who has who has been using the chania feeds at Wambie when uh, the performance of the feeds? Yes. Karibu, uh, Madam Jerusha. Uh, tumeweza kukosi, kutembea hapa jawapa farm na tumeona ukulima wako una, ume, umenoga sana ambayo hiyo ni mzuri sana we've seen a very healthy flock yeah, that's, that's commendable eh, kumbusha wakulima wanyi wako online about uh, maybe your name your name my name is uh, uh, Jerusha Wambui na mimi kwetu ni kiganjo vika eri inaitwa mgaiga kikuja mgaiga ulize jerusha utampata karibu na nikuelekeza kidogo nilianza kulisha kuku eh, from 2 to 2002 kwa hiyo kiganjo nimeka kwa sababu nilikuja mahali hapa 2000 na nikaanza na layers nikalisha layers uh, for quite some time nikafikisha mpaka 2006 na nilikuwa nalisha vizuri zilikuwa zinaenda vizuri but the last flock uh, on 2006 kapatwa na ugonjwa wa cancer from a company ambayo sitaitaja na ikakuwa zimekufa almost the 90% kwa sababu ya hiyo ugonjwa na mahali hapo nikamalizana na mambo ya layers nika shift from layers to broilers ambako nimekuwa nikiendelea nikiendelea challenges ups and downs na hazikosi lakini nime nimekuwa na passion ya kulisha kuku iko ndani yangu kabisa so sijakuwa niki nikigongwa na magonjwa ama mashida nikalala ninaamka ninaendelea so ka nimeendelea kwa vizuri na broilers na nimekuwa ni zimekuwa class yangu nimekuwa darasa kwa sababu hii gojo ikikuja hivi ninajua shida yake naweza kutatua so far so good nimekuwa hakuna ugojo inakuja ambayo sijui mwelekeo kwa sababu nimekuwa niki consult the best vets na nimeendelea vile kwa ushauri wao kwa hivyo after some time after after broilers Uh, this year kulikuwa na corona corona nime introduce croidas na so far nimeendelea vizuri na kulingana vile mmeona vile ni mwatebeza from the one broilers mpaka za croidas za alkine uh, nime nimefanikiwa nime kwa hivyo mkulima uko pale ungetaka kulisha kuku uh, ninakukaribisha na hii area ya kuku si baya ni mzuri kabisa ningekuhimiza tafuta mashauri mahali ya papa panafaa 
kula chakula ambazo ni za ma za manufaa katika kuku na uchague kampuni ambazo zina zina chakula ambazo ni quality na kabisa utafanikisha ukulima wako wa kuku kwa hivyo ninawakaribisha na ninawaambia karibu kwa ushauri wote call me call Jerusha I've given you my number 0726 Five double four six at seven, or you call my vet. A buyer and I to a vet lamwa. You make kuwa make kuwa come sa ada kwa. What made you settle for port? Eh, na kumbuka apo kitambo kidogo ulikuwa na ngombe. Kwa na ngombe. What made you settle for port? Eh, for portri. Unajua potri unaweza fanya peke yako. Mhm. Na kazi zingine usipojifanyia ukiadika mtu ni lazima atafanya vile anamjifikiria. Lakini hiyo jabesha na uh, that potential is within. The moment you umeajiri mtu ata utaweza kuta kuku zimekufa, amepatia kuku ya chakula ambazo ni res, amekanyanga, amekopa wakata kukosa kutumia by security, kuku na kuta zimekufa. Sasa kazi ya kuku unaweza jifanyia. Unaweza unaweza jifanyia ngombe ni lazima nikihitaji mtu. Nimekuwa na ngombe kwa muda mrefu since 2002 mpaka 2020 nimekuwa nimecombine kuku na ngombe. Na wakati nilichuse kuchukua kuku ni ngombe zilinichokesha. Ngombe ni abeta sam lakini kuku although ziko tayar sam ni kazi ambayo ni smart kwa sababu the chakula ukichukua mzuri kwa delivery utumie vet kazi ya kufagafagia maugojwa choo imekumiwa baya hautapata kwa hivyo itabidi unakuwa unafanya kazi ya bayo ni smart na mafanikio inakuwa smart uh, uh, our viewer back uh, back at home our online viewer uh, uh, madam jerusha of jawapa farm our host today uh, is not shying away from confirming that poultry farming is addictive poultry farming is addictive anaweza ku, ku and how does she keep off diseases having biosecurity biosecurity is key biosecurity is key mm. ha, before you enter your poultry farm have your pair of gumboots mm. before you get into flock a to flock b make sure you disinfect which is uh, which is a uh, Uh, one factor that Madam Jerusha's farm has grown from 100 mm. to 1500 broilers right now mm. from uh, 100 ki- 12 from 100 kuroilers to 1200 in ulianza uh, by the time corona march from march to now how many months are those three or four in four months from 100 to 1200 in 4 months that's 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 great mm. that's so great uh madam jerusha yes. of jawapa farm yes. uh, what advice would you give uh, a farmer who mwenye anaogopa kuingia kwa kuku ama anaogopa ku venture into the poultry business yo ina ume imeku inaku peleka sasa um, which you are rearing right now ndio tena ukitaka kulisha kuku ambayo ni quality always administer by security utumie vet mzuri na utumie chakula mzuri na uliza maswali kama sasa kugekuwa na swali nigejibu kuhusu kwa sababu hakuna hakuna tatizo ambalo hajijai eh, tegenezwa after kuoka katika nyumba ya kuku ni kwa sababu kuna magojo mengi kuna hii wojo ambayo inaleta inaitwa nyukaso ni kama inaitwa kehuto kwa kizungu inaitwa nini lakini Newcastle hiyo Newcastle hiyo ikiingia uvagia at the hundred mm. na maybe you are there ilisha ipata na hiyo ugojwa ikakufagilia kuku na ukaruso huko suruso huko i was lost over 80 80% eh a big frog na ni na need yo mimi huyu kwa sababu 80% na, every percent because of Newcastle eh Newcastle yes na uh, uh, winners never quit. Nirudia tena na nikarudi tena na ndio mimi huyu. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri kuuliza maswali na ni vizuri kutumia vets wakati una una una, 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 una kuku na uta, utafanikisha utafanikisha kazi yako 
na tena kwa kuongea na wakulima wale ambao walianza mapema hao huwa na experience than even the the, the agrovets kuuliza swali utajibiwa na ndio maana siku ya leo we are on the air kuuliza kuna swali pale wewe unafia kuingia katika kuku ungependa kujibiwa na utafanikisha ukulima uh, uh, wako wa kuku Ah, nice, nice, nice. Our online farmers now now have, have uh, we've been able to source uh, some questions on your uh, online one to Lisa Maswali. Eh, hapa kuna Bwana Enoch Moses asked about uh, a partner to rear poultry. Eh, Bwana Moses, maybe you can share your your location and uh, what kind of birds you want to rear, either broilers. Uh, like our Jawapa farm has, uh, Kuroiras, like uh, Jawapa farm still has. Whether you do want to source them as day olds, one week, two weeks, three weeks, even four weeks. Even four, even five. Uh, at a, to whatever age, mm. Ugora, you make your order, you will supply, right? Mm. Uh, you maybe source the number of birds in your Nataka. Uh, at a tuweza kutu supplier and also share what birds you'd like you'd like to to rear there is a there's a difference between a kienyeji improved a broiler and a layer in terms of in terms of feeding broilers are gonna broiler starter na broiler finisher layers are gonna cheek mash gross mash and the layers mash na kienyeji improved kuna chick mash gross mash same as layers as layers lakini kama unataka kulisha for domestic use there is also chania feeds has kienyeji mash which will serve you right eh mother getao asked about eh, her chicks zinasinzia na kukufa hmm that's that's the pole sana for the loss for the loss ma mother getao eh, about kusinzia okay in uh, in veterinary medicine there is uh, something we call general signs general signs of disease eh uh, anasinzia hotels for me to be uh, for a vet to be able to pass, to give the right diagnosis there must be a series of signs and a history history does 50% of any diagnosis eh uh, kusinzia inanyonyesha this kuku is under stress na kukufa so there should be uh, uh, something else apart from the kusinzia i'd suggest maybe you can call your neighbor vet your local vet and atakuja to your farm to address the issue or maybe if you're if you're near a town thika uh, you can visit lamo vet care uh, along garissa road next to shell crevas petrol station or you can go to our website www.lamovetcare.co.ke hapo tutaweza kukusaidia na utaweza ku, ku, kuweza kuacha losing the birds we call that mortality mortality will go to as low as zero as how madam jerusha and jawapa farm have kept lamovetcare uh, vets bumpa to bumpa nasia wakisema bumpa to bumpa ata you'll be able to have your your mortality as low as nil or maybe is there a number below nil it's nil <laughs> eh? <laughs> so have have your source vets and uh, don't do an online diagnosis have a vet at hand and who will visit your farm eh uh there's also another one another person called Jane. Jane is asking about kuku wake wanakohoa. Uh, anasikia waki waki sneeze. Eh they anasema nasikia waki sneeze na waki waki koroma. Okay, eh uh, Madam Jane, that's a good question uh, that you've posed, but eh uh, hiyo ni kusemaje i'd question your air quality i'd question your air quality which should be factored in do you cut in your birds what age is your birds is the litter how is the litter in your poultry coop 
have you have you is your house well ventilated like uh, madam jerusha's upepo inatoka hii side inaenda ikiskuma ile entoje ammonia and dust on the other end ndio maana amefungua hii side na ile side how is your is your poultry cook how often do you change your litter Uh, I'd suggest you factor in that and tag a vet along to give you the right prescription and to stop that disease that disease from clearing your flock also and also uh, uh, she can mist the air every day yes twice per day like this time kuna joto anaweza mist during the satano and uh, sanane i mist the air in that house eh uh, io io na most of to me and to me are not okay i missed the house io io sneezy naitwa mngoroto inaweza inaweza kuwa ina ina suppress na kwa suppressed na pia afungue curtains ikuwe na ventilation enough Yeah, that, that, that's good uh, madam jerusha has uh, reminded me about that air quality at its best madam jen and you will have a very a very healthy flock of antibiotics like uh, we have on this farm we are off antibiotics antibiotics at its lowest we should work on uh, having a, a flock which has zero antibiotic cover yes zero antibiotic cover like we have we have done here biosecurity at its best uh, our dear viewer Uh, we've come to the end of our of the uh, veton call veton call show episode at Jawapa poultry farm in Kiganjo Thika which is which is a uh, uh, based in Thika Kiganjo you can uh, visit the farm if you want to outsource for chicks and she will be handled you'll be handled well and given uh, an uh, healthy birds of carrier diseases you can reach us you can you can uh, you can have uh, our next episode every monday wednesday and fridays which uh, on the next uh, the next coming coming week will update you and give you allowance a uh, 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 a show of different topic different topics on every different episode you can uh, visit our office in thika for if you you by any chance have uh, missed uh, asking a question or your question has been passed maybe by time unaweza tutembelea kwa ofisi yetu pale Thika along Garissa road next to Shell Rivers petrol station yes Even though. Thank you.